My boss and I like to play this game where I try to hide in plain sight and he tries to find me. Now this one should be pretty obvious, so if he doesn't find me right away, I'm counting it as a win. All right, welcome to Hidden in Plain Sight. This is the series where one of my employees tries to hide from me in my own building all day. And my job is to find him and put him back to work. Let's go. Oh, I'm already getting a phone call. Getting a call from the wife. Hello? Hello, Danny, how you doing? What? Turns out it's not the wife. It's my annoying work wife, Danny. Oh. You can't really trust anyone these days, can you? I don't trust you, that's for sure. I just wanted to call you and be really clear about the rules. Clear on the rules. What are the rules? Well, that's not Tell me the today. rules. Anyway. Tell me the rules uh, then. Have... Don't be a baby. Play a game like a man. Say the, the rules. Anything, so it's, uh, say the luck. rules. Just say the rules. <laughs> My wife's in on this. Traitor! Trust no one, including John, including you. I don't trust you. If I could fire my wife, I would. I don't know how she'll take that. Gotta do like a sweep, okay? You gotta sweep the building. Gotta look at the curtains, the curtains, the curtains. Let's see what's going on in the shop. Oh my gosh. There's a minimal amount of mess on the floor in here. This feels like a good poking stick. Oh, that's fun. I'm looking at all the signs. You in here, Danny? No stone left unturned is what we've got to do today. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, here's a clue. Why is this ladder in here? This is, let me turn on some lights in here. This is our little like confession cam um, room here. And, uh, oh. Oh, there he is! You forgot the ladder! <laughs> so these videos aren't scripted, so anything can happen. Miscommunication on that one. I don't know if we have a video, because it's 8.26. Yeah. yeah. We're going to have to scrap this and try something else tomorrow. This is Hidden in Plain Sight. We're rolling in. Do we need to do the idiot check, or are we already... We did it. We did it? Okay. We did the idiot check. This is cute. Hidden in plain sight clue book. S-I-T-E? Come on, man. I think the clue book is pretty empty, folks. I don't know what to do with this. I don't know if I should keep that or just leave that there. Good luck, Jamie. Have a wonderful day. And he purposely spelled my name wrong. Typos can be bad. I'd hate to leave a zero off your paycheck. He said that would be bad, but he spelled wood wrong. I don't know what's with all the misspelling. <laughs> That's a big bottle of white out. I guess there's a theme here. Danny's laying it on real thick with the typos. I mean, he even put this giant bottle of white out on my desk. I got it, Danny. You can't spell. I already knew that. I'm gonna see what other useless clues Danny has left for me. And by clues, I mean waste of time. Meanwhile, we're all out here. Yeah, I know, working. <sighs> I don't understand why we keep doing this charade, Joey. Just <laughs> tell me where he I is. No, when is it my turn? Feeling good about finding Danny. Danny? Should I be looking for something that's misspelled? He kept misspelling things. I feel like the only way I'm gonna find him is if I go up to every single thing around here and just like, oh, Jamie, there's this tiny sign over here and I wrote on it. If you knew where to look. Freaking magnifying glass. He's never in plain sight. Not since like the first episode. You know, we sell these cool erasers. You know, it looked like fast food or whatever. And I thought with this whole mistake thing that maybe there'd be a clue in here, but I'm not seeing anything. Bondic, it like fixes, you know, mistakes, broken, broken things. I'm not gonna find Danny, we're gonna sell some products. That's what we're gonna do today. Snow cone pouch. Snow cone anytime you want it. Do yourself a favor. Buy yourself a gummy popsicle. A little magic eight ball here. Will I find Danny today? It went, it went straight to no. Stupid. Just looking for anything out of the ordinary that might be a clue as to where he is. Check your car. 
The dumpster? I haven't checked. My car? Your car. Did you check the trunk? Did they, did he tell you to tell me to check the trunk? I don't know. I don't think Danny's telling everyone to mess with me. I think they're just doing it on their own for fun. All right, we gotta check a few more rooms before I even entertain the idea of what Sarah told me of checking my car. Here's Danny's desk. Jamie, you couldn't see it? It was, it was tiny on the label of, of my ibuprofen. I'm not the weird one with the magnifying glass. He's the one that puts tiny clues, you know, in not obvious places. We should probably change the name of this series from Hidden in Plain Sight to Hidden Impossibly. Let's look at his stupid clue book again. I just had an idea. I'm wondering if I do this, something will reveal itself, you know? If he indented it, and you can only see it if you like rub over, or this is completely wasting my time. I'm not doing this for every page in this notebook, so. Be in there, be in there, wake up, wake up! These don't belong up here, come on guys. Why are we using the cord that's designed to hold our sound blankets together, to hold a pile of napkins together? Hello, hello, there's your clue. <laughs> oh, here we go. I was right about the erasers. He's probably hidden a clue in all this fan art because there's this giant eraser here and he's been sending me mistakes. Did he draw one of these? Jamie sucks, what? Jamie sucks? No, I don't suck. You suck, Danny. You sucks at spelling, S-U-X. That kind of hurts. It says Danny is hiding from Jamie. Is this a clue or is this real? And it's just a kid who likes that video. We're gonna have to consider that a potential clue. Sarah told me to look in the trunk of my car. I think she's just messing with me. No, that would be pretty clever to be in my car. Alas, he is not. It's pretty cold out. I really don't think he wants to be outside, but he's done it before, so it's possible. I totally look like someone about to like break into somebody's car. Peeking into every car with a big pipe in my hand. Is this coincidence? I don't know whose car this is. Laid out in the back is an I Spy book, a Christmas I Spy book, and then the big book of Seek and Find. Is that one of our sound blankets in there? Whose car is this? That's not one of our sound blankets, that's pink. But look at that. Maybe there's other clues in other people's cars. Another person with a blanket in the back. Does, does everyone have blankets in the back of their cars now? Is that a memo I didn't get? More blankets. <laughs> Why's everybody got blankets in the back of their car? Not in the dumpster. Quick lap around the outside, John, we gotta do it. Even when it's cold, I gotta look. Dude, it's cold, I'm going inside. <laughs> it's too cold. I don't care if you are outside. <laughs> I'm not finding you. Screw that, dude. Anybody in here have a Toyota Highlander? Silver. Somebody in the back of their car has just laying in the back a blanket and then on top of the blanket is an I Spy book and like the world's biggest seek and find book. I'll be honest, somebody having a blanket in their car during the winter and children's books when maybe they have kids doesn't sound like that crazy to me. Hey Ed, do you have a gray Toyota Highlander? Yes. That's your car? I was looking for Danny outside in the cars. I noticed in the back of your car was an I Spy book and a Seek and Find book in the back there. I don't know, that's my wife put it in there. I don't know what it is. Come on now. So Ed doesn't even know these books are in the back of his car. I mean, maybe Danny put them there. I mean, the day we're playing Hidden in Plain Sight, there's two like hide and seek books in the back of your car. Is he saying he's in blankets? I don't know, somebody needs to help me. We have a couple places where we've got these blankets. Like here's one, you know? Is there something up there? In the back of Ed's car is an I Spy book. Does his wife watch kids for a living? <laughs> really, for real? I hate coincidences. I think the blanket thing is nonsense. I think the mistakes is a red herring. Danny loves trying to make me look stupid in the reveal and be like, it was there the whole time. Um, which makes me think that I should look at that clue book again. <gasps> what? What is this? There's a note on the back of this thing. Oh, dang it. I mean, that's nice. It's just some fan art. 
Send us your fan art. I mean, we, we love getting it. Just don't make it look like a clue for hidden in plain sight. What's up, Manny? Gotta check. Wait a second. Yo, what did I just find? Enjoy your day! <laughs> Danny's in the beanbag chair. <laughs> Found him. I'm just gonna let him hang out there for, I don't know how long, I haven't decided yet. Um, celebratory cotton candy. Oh yeah, found him. I'm just savoring this moment like I'm savoring this Dr. Pepper cotton candy. Oh man. Does he know that you know? If he has ears, unless, he put a dummy inside of something. In which case, I look like an idiot right now, but I'm really case, hoping John it's not the case. John, delete this Yeah, that would be really funny, and now I'm starting to, now I'm starting to wonder, maybe, maybe it is. I'm gonna have to open up the beanbag chair. Might have gloated a little too early. Oh, the highs and the lows. It was a premature cotton candy. Yeah. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. It's gonna make me look so stupid when they edit that together. Ah! I'm running out of time, but it just dawned on me. Maybe he's in the last place I'd expect him to be hiding. All about mistakes. mistakes. Jamie always likes to say he's really methodical. My plan is to just kind of be somewhat methodical. <sighs> gotta get methodical. That got me thinking, if he's so methodical, he shouldn't have any problem finding me in a really obvious spot. Right? So I put on a red suit to disguise myself as a beanbag chair that we use for sound dampening, and then left a ladder in the room that leads right to my hiding spot. So this is where Jamie sits when he kind of talks to the camera and, and narrates what's going on. And Danny... will be right up there the whole time. He came in and found me almost instantly. I found him! Now that frustrated Jamie a little bit because we didn't have enough footage to make a video, but it was all part of the plan. Now that he thinks we failed, where am I gonna really hide? The first clue was the phone call from Jamie's wife. I used an app to make it look like I was calling from her phone and continue to taunt him from her phone number. Because if you can't trust your wife, who can you trust? Definitely not the guys who are making a video about deceiving their boss. So if this works right, it should look like Jamie's calling me, but it's, it's really Danny. Oh my gosh. This is not Jamie Salvatore. This is not Jamie Salvatore. The next clue was that I asked him to wear the same clothes the next day. That way, if we decided to use any footage from the previous day, it would match. That's not a thing. We don't do that. The most obvious clues were all the spelling errors I made throughout the day. Now, all of that should remind him of a big mistake made recently. We forgot the ladder! <laughs> the last place someone would hide something is where they just got caught hiding something. So, maybe that's the best place to hide something. You guys didn't do the same thing as Wednesday, did you? Thinking I would never think you would do the same thing twice. Got him. No, I'm gonna let him sit there for a long time. Oh, hell yeah. I know exactly where he is. What? <laughs> Hello there. Ugh. So, you were just listening to me up there all day? Pretty much. Yeah, you're mean. Well, you're lazy and can't spell. See? Check this out! Some kids must have come by early this morning and like put a chalk message here. Team Jamie! I love it! All of this looks really good except this part. Fixed it for you guys. Thanks so much for coming by. Appreciate the love. Bat19.com